Hi, welcome back to another episode of Healthy Lifestyle in English. So today I'll be covering on the basic concept of muscle uh, growing or muscle building and also I'll be covering which exercise is better for fat loss. Let's get started. If you are new to my channel, I am Lahiru Jayakodi, I am a third year medical student and I will be guiding you towards a healthy lifestyle and if you are really interested in these health related topics or health related stuff, uh, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon that you will not miss any of my videos. Okay, so the first topic as I mentioned is the basic concept of muscle growing. So this is, uh, this concept is for each and everyone mostly who are thin and also to people who are really into bodybuilding and who really want to build muscle so it's for everyone uh, so muscle tissue when you take muscle tissue is high uh, it's high in metabolic rate so uh, as we all know that there are different body types and there are these body types differ from their uh, mainly from their metabolic rate so uh, consider you as a uh, ectomorph who has a high metabolic rate so if you have a higher amount of muscle mass so as i mentioned i told you that muscle tissue has a high metabolic rate if your muscle tissue the amount of muscle tissue you have is high your normal metabolic rate is high from your uh, genetics and uh, those related factors so uh, if you have more uh, muscle mass then that means your metabolic uh, rate would be even higher so to compensate that our body will uh, so your body the ectomorph's body will reduce their muscle mass to the amount of muscle which uh, the person needs to do their day-to-day uh, -day activities so in order to increase so in order to increase the muscle mass they have to uh, increase the workload the muscles do so that means you have to do something extra, work something, uh, work harder. So the body will realize, okay, so uh, the amount of muscle this person, uh, my, uh, the body has is not enough for him to do his day-to-day uh, -day work. So I have to adapt. So then I will increase my muscle. So th that's the concept which happens even in the gym. Like that. in this uh, video, I'm mostly targeting the normal people who are thin. The hard gainers who are who wants to uh, gain more weight especially in muscle because no one wants to gain weight in fact yeah you would uh, like to gain more weight in fact for some extent but but i'm pretty sure that you don't want to be a overweight or obese person with the amount of high amount of fat you will be happy the way you are now uh, so that's why, uh, that's why I, I told you that I'm targeting these people mostly because uh, for bodybuilding there are different techniques because uh, at time passes out you have to do uh, different different things because there are, there are, we have a genetic potential for muscle building. After that it's very difficult for uh, to increase the muscle growth. Strength and strength wise it may increase but uh, even in strength there is a limitation so it's uh, difficult you have to use different techniques over time but this is for uh, for everyone uh, the basic concept so you have to do more work and tell your body that I am doing more work than uh, my muscles can do so that means uh, I need more muscle and there is an important thing that you have to give the amount of calories your body need and the amount of protein because the muscle tissue is uh, made of protein so you have to give the amount of protein the body need and also the amount of rest especially sleep uh, and also a rest day if you are going for a gym the meaning of rest day is that so uh, and also so that means you can do it like you can increase your uh, you don't need to go to a gym to do this you can like increase your daily activities to uh, uh, tell your body that your your muscles need to grow and something or else you can do body weight exercises 
something uh, which you uh, which you you didn't do as for now you can like work your muscles uh, chill uh, stimulus uh, will uh, some but whatever you do the stimulus will increase the muscle mass uh, so i'm highlighting the point which i said earlier because it's important you have to give the amount of calories uh, more than uh, the required amount at least 500 more and the amount of protein and also rest or else you will lose what you have uh, that's a very bad thing especially for a thin person who, uh, who only has a very little uh, muscle mass that you understood what I told you just now because the thing is like if you are a hard gainer you what you would do is you try to uh, get more food more calories like you could use uh, you would uh, use uh, food with higher calories dense ca- uh, calories but the thing is if you are not working out if you are not telling your body that you need more muscle uh, you will gain more weight at the, with the process but in fact not in muscle uh, so uh, that's why i told you in order to gain more uh, weight in muscle especially for those who are in that uh, ectomorph side of the uh, metabolic rate because uh, definitely your body would uh, wouldn't want your metabolic rate to double up so let's okay so now let's move into the next topic so now uh, we'll uh, we talking about which type of exercise are better for weight loss. I hope and I think that you have heard these types of exercises. We could categorize them into three parts. Which, uh, the first one is cardio. The second one is weight training. And the third one is, is the most effective but is the least uh, known one which is HIIT or high intensity interval training. So uh, let's take them one by one. First, it's cardio, cardiovascular. Uh, it's strengthening. That's that's what we call cardio shortly. It's cardiovascular strengthening. What we do is we do uh, some sort of exercise for a prolonged time uh, while keeping our heart rate elevated, but in a uh, con- constant state. Like you know that our heart rate is around uh, roughly around uh, seventy-two beats per minute when you are resting. So in a cardio exercise, what we do, we would increase that up to uh, some extent and we would keep it at that same uh, range for a small range and we'll be uh, doing that workout for a prolonged time. Uh, This is a very good uh, form of exercise, especially for your uh, heart. And also uh, it is very uh, helpful for people who are maybe elderly or for people who have uh, heart problems, other uh, diseases. Uh, so that through those people who can't uh, work you do a huge workload like you know, strength training or maybe high intensity workout so yeah for them this is this form of exercise is very useful and also for people who are new it's conditioning your heart something like that but with time you know, if you're only doing low intensity uh, workouts the impact on fat burning which you are talking the Thing we are talking about will be uh, minimal compared to other workouts so uh, that's cardio now let's go to weight training weight training is what we do when we go to the gym we use uh, weights to do uh, different types of exercises to different muscle groups in order to uh, increase our muscle mass like someone who does like we do weight training to uh, increase our muscle mass how can this uh, do uh, help us in losing fat the thing is so to use those to lift those weights we need a lot of energy so first we will be uh, consuming the energy which we are stored in the muscles at the form of as the form of glycogen so after that after our glycogen stores are depleted we don't eat uh, in the middle of a, a workout so when our uh, glycogen stores are depleted then to uh, get energy our body will start using the fat stored uh, in our body and also there is a after effect in weight training because you know that what happens in uh, the gym is like we break down our muscle like we work uh, harder than our muscles could do in order to uh, 
in the summer summer so that's what i told in the earlier topic as well in sleep what the body does it gets the body back to normal even better stronger and bigger to uh, do the work easier in the next time i mean like you don't build muscle overnight but this is a, pro- a prolonged process but that's what happened day after day uh, so uh, in that uh, process uh, to build more muscle to restore the muscle mass there is a energy consumption which is a like a after effect which uh, the body needs energy and it will especially as sleep it will uh, use fat if there is not enough calories so we are in a calorie deficit if you are losing uh, fat especially if you are uh, your target is to lose fat you are in a calorie deficit so deficit so the body will uh, use fat for that process as well so that's an after effect in a uh, way training so now uh, if uh, this is the mo- these are the two most common things so if someone asked what is better to uh, reduce fat cardio or weight training definitely when you consider the ups and downs weight training is much more better like there are a high intensity cardio uh, uh, forms of exercise which we can which will uh, like running for around 40 minutes straight that would burn a lot of fat uh, then maybe uh, training your bicep Uh, we are not in general uh, as we uh, talk weight training is much more superior so now let's move on to the third one which is more effective uh, which is also a type of a hybrid of uh, cardio and weight training which is called high intensity interval training like very useful because the amount of results you get for a short period try for a short period of time is very high uh, compared to others because you can't do these uh, exercises for a long time even for advanced ones and it's these workouts are like around for 10 to 20 minutes you or maybe less what we do is we do some sort of a high intensity workout for uh, like let's get let's take 60 seconds and then we rest for a very short time around 30 seconds and then we do another type of exercise which is high, high in intensity and then again uh, we get a rest something like that we repeat uh, all brand new different types of exercises these are like different forms of cardio exercises like maybe uh, jump roping or jumping or skipping or so, something like that and then also with uh, weight uh, some form of exercises like we you can use it weights like rowing or uh, or anything like that so in this it is so high in intensity the fat burn will be very high and in this it's short and sometimes you will not be able to do the exercises uh, the given time because the intensity is so high that you will have to stop at the beginning so sometimes you will not be able to get the maximum out of these workouts so it's better to uh, incorporate other types of exercises as well especially if you are uh, weight training and also your main goal is to lose weight you can uh, do a high intensity interval training workout after just after your uh, weight training because as i told you the amount we first we will be using our uh, glycogen stores so after weight training our glycogen stores are over most probably they are over because if we are uh, lifting heavy so then if you do a height workout definitely your the amount all the energy will be uh, used from your from fat and also if you are a person who uh, who doesn't want to do weight training who doesn't want to uh, do cardio and also if you are, don't have enough time to go to a gym or go for a walk or go for a run this form type of exercises which only takes 10 to 20 minutes will be easy if you learn something today please give me a, a like and also uh, share this video among uh, your fitness enthusiast or people who are who wants to increase their weight in muscle and also to people who are uh, who wants to reduce their weight and doesn't know which type of exercise they want they should do because sometimes you can't uh, you can't you don't have enough time to do a uh, each and every type of exercise so like you want to know which is the 
a bet a best one to do okay so meet you in a, another interesting video take care